hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can download the XAMPP and install it into our PC so now it's completely installed and we are going to open our uh, this uh, my uh, Apache into our web browser right so it's uh, asking us do you want to start the control panel yes I'm going to click on this finish and it's checked right so click on it so it's going to open the uh, XAMPP for us so let's click on yes so it's basically it's going to uh, execute the XAMPP control.exe file okay so here now it's uh, open this uh, this uh, GUI right so basically this is when you open the XAMPP it look like this one right so it's uh, we need to we need two services i already told you that we need two services the first one is apache and second one is mysql so if you are using different one like uh, filezilla mercury or tomcat you can also use these services so here let's click on this start apache and it's going to start uh, your apache and then it's going to assign its a port right and it's uh, my uh, signing, uh, starting this mysql and yes both ones are started uh, successfully so now let's uh, go to the web browser and here just type uh, local local host and then type php php oops my admin right and hit enter so it's going to open the apache interface wait for a moment and yes now it's opened the php my admin for us so basically this is the mysql which is a database manager to uh, we need to uh, we can create the different databases here and uh, manage our databases here so let's click on this and you can instantly add a new database here so but this tutorial is about how we can install the xamp how to upgrade or downgrade and stuff like that right and if you are a project to uh, want to open the project here so let's go to the xamp directory so it's inside the c drive uh, c drive so let's go here c drive xamp and if you want to execute some php project so let's go to the ht docs and here you need to paste your files here so if you are having a different uh, uh, some project full project so how you gonna open this project so test uh, I'm going to create a test directory and in the test I'm going to execute uh, add an index.php file right so here I'm going to just uh, add a newer file so let's remove the extension because we don't want to add this .txt file I'm going to type this index.php remember we are going to add this php because we want to execute the server side language right which is php we are using php so here just type the php syntax and then type echo hello world which is the first message from the every programmer right so how we can open this uh, index.php file which exists in the test directory so let's go here and type uh, local host and then type uh, ph uh, not php it's uh, test right so i'm pointing out uh, this di test directory so you need to locate the directory uh, after typing localhost you need to its uh, localhost look into this htdocs directory so you don't need to mention this htdocs and stuff like that you need to mention the test directory and in the text uh, in the test you have an index.php file so here you need to type uh, index.php file but if you did not type this index.php file by default it uh, open the index.php file from the directory any of the directory and yes it's executing the hello world and if you type uh, index.php so it's uh, totally same right so it's executing hello world so now you get an idea that how you can open the php project and mysql right so now the time is to check the version of the php so which version we are using so let's go here and type cmd so let i'm going to open the command prompt right and here so i'm going to type php and then you need to put double flag and type version so it's going to display us the php version and yes it's telling that php 8.1.6 
so it's mean that we are executing the php 8 so i'm going to exit this out so let me check the video size and uh, yes it's a little bit going bigger so in the next video i'm going to tell you that uh, how to open this uh, directly i don't want to click on this start uh, apache start uh, mysql i want to just click on this zap and it will automatically run these services so how we can do this so i will tell you in the next video so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye